If you can count on Donald Trump for one thing, it's taking whatever is in the news and making it a justification for him to somehow magically become president. And the uh, the Twitter Hunter Biden expose was no exception. Here is how he attempted to spin whatever he thinks was revealed there. He bleated, so with the revelation of massive and widespread fraud and deception and working closely with big tech companies, the DNC and the Democrat Party, do you throw the presidential election results of 2020 out and declare the rightful winner? Or do you have a new election? A massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in the Constitution. Our great founders did not want and would not condone false and fraudulent elections. So first off, I um, would like to add a third possible option to the uh, throw out the results or have a new election. Um, how about do absolutely nothing and just continue on with our lives? I think that's the one that we're gonna go with. But there he is saying, because of this massive fraud that Twitter didn't send out non-consensual dick pics of Hunter Biden, then the 2020 election isn't valid. And all rules and regulations need to be dispensed of, including articles, even poorly written ones. And also the Constitution, it's just done. And look, it's a Trump statement. so. I don't know exactly what he means by this. I don't know if he's even still thinking about this. Is this an indication of his approach to the Constitution going forward? Is this an offhand comment? Was he on like uppers? I don't know. I don't know. But it is concerning, not just that you have a guy who used to be the president, who's supposed to be the great defender of the Constitution, claiming that if he has an issue with it, he can single handedly cancel it. That would be one thing, that would be concerning. But he is an already declared candidate to be president again. So it seems like it probably matters. Brett, what do you think? This is so stupid. That's that's the perfect response to literally every first story coming out of the weekend. For so many reasons. A, there's nothing in the Constitution about this. Mm-hmm. That is false. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say anything remotely close to this. The the Constitution says stuff about like certifying electors, setting up the electoral college. It does say let's leave it to the states to have those kinds of things happen. Now, the other reason this is so stupid is because this is what Fox News does every day. Mm -hmm. You're saying big tech and big media are different, how? Because Fox News 100% without a doubt is fed stories by the Republicans, colludes with the Republicans every minute of every single day to influence via the largest media apparatus on the in the United States, the number one news network in in the country yeah. to collude to to pick stories, lie to people, have their agenda, have things suppressed. It happens all the time, man. Brett, he's not uh, you're, you're, about it. you're 100% right, and I definitely want to get into that a little bit later on the show. Um, we're we're gonna dive all into the Twitter stuff. For now, though, uh, I assume when you say this is so stupid, I assume you mean the idea that he can cancel the Constitution, the idea that this is really saying much about his approach. I mean, I I assume, and maybe I'm being too generous here. That he has exactly as little respect for the Constitution today as he did a week ago, as he did a year ago. And this probably doesn't indicate much of a big change in approach. But what do you think about what Trump is actually saying here and what he might do as president? Well, I say that because it says allows for the termination of all rules. It's like, no, it doesn't allow for the termination of any rules. There's Mm -hmm. an A, list them. List them. Like you don't know what they are. They they say you know see who benefits and that's who's at fault. This is only stuff that he has been doing in the past and will continue to do in the future. I mean I get the approach. Um, he's trying to double, triple, quadruple down on the thing that got him here. But I need to look no further than Jordan Peterson, my personal thought leader and guru, who said that this is off brand for Trump. He is a winner is his brand and he keeps complaining about losing to losers. The people sure. he call losers have beaten him. Yeah. And so it's just now if 
the remaining people who didn't check out because he's so pathetic will continue to check out. And he's so stupid, our great founders did not want and would not condone false and fraudulent election. Why is founders in quotation marks? It's just Why that false same capitalized. stuff. It's exactly what I didn't miss about Trump tweets. It's like, it's just dust and mud and murk that he kicks up in an attempt to confuse you. And then hopefully through the raw display of what he perceives and his fans to perceive as power can just push you back and get what he wants. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, and you're right that this is very much a throwback to what he's normally like. One of the reasons I want to make sure that we talked about this is um, now that he is a candidate, now that there is in theory going to be an alternative to him. Um, I'm just curious how this sort of stuff plays. We actually have a little bit of updated information about that. Uh, really fast though, the Deputy Press Secretary for the White House, Andrew Bates, put out a statement saying that attacking the Constitution and all it stands for is anathema to the soul of our nation. Totally reasonable. To which Trump to said, God bless you. Anathema, God bless you. What? <laughs> it's not a word, right? I don't know what that means. He definitely doesn't know what it means. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.